this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up an Alexa skill to use the Alexa presentation language. And I'm going to do this using a Dabble Lab skill template, and you can get the template source code free by going to DabbleLab.com. And then once you're there, go to the Templates menu option, and we're going to be using this template down here, template number 15, the Alexa presentation language skill template. And if you haven't used uh, any of our skill templates before, all you need to do is create an account. The accounts are free. You, If you don't have one, just use this link down here and log in. And once you log in, you'll have access to the template details, which will include a, uh, a tutorial video that talks through using the template. That's actually what you're watching right now. And then uh, the command for using the Alexa Skills Kit command line interface if you use the Ask CLI, or you can, and or, you can download the, uh, the source code template and just copy and paste the template code to, um, to get started. And that's what I'm gonna do because that's the easiest way to, uh, to get started if you're just getting into this stuff. So you wanna click this, download the source code, and that's gonna download a zip package. So you wanna extract all the files in that zip package, and everything that you need is gonna be in there. So if you're using the Ask CLI, you can just use this as your um, Alexa project uh, root folder and navigate into there and then use all of the ask commands. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you probably want to use the uh, Alexa developer console. And if that is the case, you can just easily do that by copying and pasting code. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you that process uh, right now. So um, let's see. First, you would go to developer.amazon.com and log in. If you don't have an Amazon developer account, you will need to create one. The, um, there's no credit card required. The accounts are free, so you just uh, sign up. When you're signing up, if you, si if you need to sign up, you want to use the email address that you use. If you have an Echo device, like a, an Amazon Alexa device, whatever email address or account, Amazon account you use to register that device, you want to use the same one for your developer account. That'll let you test with your uh, devices while the skills you're building are in development. Okay, um, from there, just go to create skill and we'll call this, um, we'll just call it demo skill. And we're creating a custom Alexa hosted skill for Node.js. So the custom skill is the default, but rather than provision your own, you wanna come over here and select Alexa hosted for Node.js. And right now, all of the templates are Node.js. We'll have some Python ones, hopefully, at some point in the future, but today they're all Node.js. And then you wanna click this Create Skill. And creating a hosted skill takes about a minute, so we'll let this run while we go over here and talk a bit about the code that you're gonna to need to make this all work. So two things, um, actually three in this case. So we need the code for the interaction model, which is this here. And then we're also gonna need the code from this main.json and then this uh, index.js. But we'll start with the, uh, the interaction model. So you just wanna copy that, open it in whatever text editor you use. It could be text edit, I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. And then um, select all of that and copy it. And then we want to head back over to the Alexa console. This is just finishing up, so good timing. And then we're going to move over here to the JSON editor, which is where the interaction model code can be found in the Alexa console. And then we just want to select all of this code and paste over it with the code from the template. And um, I'm going to change this here to just demo skill. This is the interact. This is the invocation name. So this is the name that users would use to start your skill up. So you would change this to, you know, be whatever name you're going to use if you're building a skill that you're going to deploy. But I'm going to just call it demo skill, uh, like that, and then save, and then build the model. And while that's building, the other important thing that we need to do for this skill is we need to enable the um, the Alexa presentation language interface. So we wanna to go to the interfaces here 
and then uh, find the Alexa presentation language interface down here. And we want to just toggle that on. And then you would also uh, specify the viewports that your skill is going to need to support. Um, so these are like the spot, uh, the Echo Show 5, the new Echo, and then um, the, the bigger uh, Echoes or Echo Shows rather. And then for like Fire TV, you would uh, select that down there. And then save the interfaces. And then we need to start uh, copying our code over. So we'll go over here to the code and there's actually two, um, two pieces of code we need. So we need the, the code for the index.js and then there's also a template file, which is main.json. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a new file and we'll call that main.json like that. And we're gonna copy and paste the template main.json code in here. So let's go back over to our template and find that main.json here. And then we'll open that with our text editor also copy it and then go back over to the Alexa console and paste it into the main here. And then we'll save that. And I'll come back and talk about what, what these files are all about in just a second. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to copy in the code for the index.js. So again, go back over to the template code that you downloaded find the index.js file, which is in Lambda custom, and then open that with your text editor, copy it, and then paste it over all of the code in the main.json here. So you wanna select all of the code and then paste it in. All right, and then save. And we'll deploy this. So this is gonna push the code out so that it can be used in uh, test mode, it's not pushing it out live. This uh, this is where you would promote it to be live in, in the public store, but for testing, you've got to deploy it. And um, let me talk about just what what's happening. So the, the main thing is this here, like this um, object is being pulled in or from this file here. And this file here is the starting point for the presentation language uh, template. And so this is a super simple, uh, this is really a, a simple example. And it's just really about showing you how to set the skill up for using presentation, the presentation language. And then over here, so you need that, which is your main template. And then in the, um, the handlers that are gonna use the presentation language, you need this directive here which is um, you're adding the Alexa presentation language APL render document directive. And then you're referencing the, uh, the document that's gonna be used. And in our case, we're referencing main here, which is coming from that main.json. And then you can also um, push in an object that contains data that you could use to like uh, replace uh, placeholders within the uh, main JSON within the templates. That's beyond the scope of what we're gonna talk about in this tutorial. This is really just about getting it set up. But at this point, we should be ready to go. So we can um, we can start testing. We'll go over here to the test menu. Whoops, log me out. And uh, once I'm here, or once you're here in the test menu, you wanna enable uh, testing for development. And um, I, when I'm testing the APL stuff, I just disable this skill IO because really what I want to see is what comes out on the screen uh, or at least for this example. So I'm disabling this just so I can see here. And then we want to open the demo skill. And when we do that. Hello there. I've left a message you can read on the screen. And so this is the this is the message here. Hello from the Alexa presentation language. So really super simple. Again, uh, nothing nothing fancy, but um, these are kind of the base steps for getting started with the Alexa presentation language. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, 
you can leave those over here in the, uh, the comments that uh, we've recently set up and we'll try to answer those questions just as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching.